Well, a good Tuesday evening, everyone. Overall, we had a pretty dry day, and it looks like that's going to be the end of the dry days for quite some time. We have a lot of rain coming our way in this unsettled pattern. Right now, only some showers in our highest elevations up towards Snowshoe and down towards extreme southern Tazewell County and along the highest elevations of the Appalachians. But besides that, it looks like we're staying dry everywhere else, and it looks like that will continue overnight before we get much more rain coming our way for the middle of the week. Temperatures right now fairly mild. We're at 80 in Oak Hill. We're close to 90 in the coal fields, 84 in Linside, and 79 over in Raynell. So overall pretty mild, and we're still going to keep the warm temps, but the humidity continue to rise up. You can see that that humidity go even, even higher than it already is right now, and that's before it drops again. But we'll have to deal with that humidity for quite some time as the rain chances start to increase as well, the moisture helping to fuel those rain chances. So what is going to cause all the rain that we're going to get? Well, we, had a, we have a cold front moving down from the Midwest, and as it moves down, turns into a stationary front. And that stationary front here in these blue and red barbs stalls over the area and continues to stall through midweek. And even looking at Thursday, late Thursday, we still have that stationary front over the area igniting some of these storms over much of the southeastern portion of our country. So anywhere from the stationary front southward is going to see a lot of this rain as we head over the next couple of days. So over our area locally, going into Wednesday, we're still staying mainly dry, especially as we head into the early morning hours. You can see in those grays, that's where we're just seeing some clouds and sun. But as we head later in the day, that's when the rain starts to creep in, sometimes heavy at times, and those orange, yellows, and reds indicating some darker, heavier rain. Does not mean it's going to be severe, but could be strong at times, and the main risk is going to be some heavier downpours with some of these storms. As we go into the latter portion of the day, Wednesday, see, even in the evening hours, we're still dealing with some of this rain. And going into Thursday, we're starting off the day a little bit cloudier than Wednesday, still some breaks in the sun, the sun and heating and the moisture helps to ignite some more storms going later in the day. And this afternoon storm pattern just continues as we head into the rest of the week. Now this rain, again, not severe, but could ignite some flooding risks, especially along the highest elevations in that yellow risk, indicating a slight risk that's a little bit higher than the green, which is just a marginal risk. And even going into Thursday, that's just going to continue going into the day on Thursday. Now, how much rain could we get? Some areas really could pick up more than others. Again, looking at Oak Hill, it says we're going to pick up less than an inch. But some places picking up more than an inch over near rain now, saying we're going to pick up over an inch there. So just do stay weather aware as we head over the next couple days. Your outlook for the next seven days, just looking like this unsettled pattern continues with some strong storms and the risk of flooding as we head into the weekend.